Hello everyone and welcome back to Toys We Remember. Today we are looking at the the 1984 characters uh, of the Transformers Decepticons. First, we are looking at the leader, Megatron. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is not the original Megatron. It is a newer version from a Japanese toy line that just came out of Transformers. He transforms into a kind of, sort of weird looking tape. A most recognizable character, even, even if sometimes in the cartoon they would mix him up for the other um, planes. Skywarp and Thundercracker. This is the Starscream from the Studio series. Again, I couldn't get the vintage version. And he has his little blasters. They can come off, as you see right here. And, yeah, they both come off at certain times. And there's this extra blaster that I guess you could put in his hand. I don't know why he would really use that. But they're right there, and he didn't come alone. He was the studio series, and they called it the studio series because it's kind of from the the movie. Now, for another iconic character in the very first series, we have Soundwave. And Soundwave, of course, comes with his little tape lit buzzsaw. So, buzzsaw just transforms right here. And he didn't come with any weapons this time. This is a retro version of him and oh so that's him and then of course we all know that he turns into a tape deck but and of course he also ha has his batteries turn into his weapons you see right there so that's sound wave and then he just comes with this little weapon right here, little blaster that you can just fit in his blaster extendy thing that goes in his arm. It's a cool weapon and it's a good resemblance to the original figure. We, we move on to the two set that I got. with Rumble and Ravage. He doesn't really fit on that. But you can just put these little blasters on his back like so and then well in the show he d he blasts people with like his little thing right here and it would like pop in his little thing. So this is the weird gimmick with this one. He, the thing literally, the blaster literally goes on to, like clings to his arm. Kind of, sort of. It really doesn't work. Honestly, oh there we go. So that's how he goes. Then, then, that wasn't the only part of the tape army. I also got, out of this big case of action figures my dad got from a toy collector, we also, we also got a Frenzy. Now, this guy's vintage. He has a couple loose parts. Like, his feet don't really come out. I mean, they do, but they're kind of hard. 
And then his arms are a little bit flimsy. He doesn't come with weapons, but he's still a very cool character. So those are all the tapes, and they transform fairly well. Frenzy's a little downward there, but they're all part of the tape army. It's a great playing on radio. So he pushes his hands in, put his head down, put his little feet in there, and then you put that over and yeah. That's Soundwave. So that's how you transform Soundwave. Of course, this transformation discluded this piece, his weapon piece. You just take it out of his blaster. I guess you could do just that. So that's Soundwave. Now, for Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is a very easy guy. And so. Push his head in, put his wings up, and if you don't have this retro figure or the original, push these in. And of course, it just fits right in here. Of course, it's a, mine is a little broken, but it's still good. You know, it, you can just still put it right in there, and then, well, you just put it in there. That's how you do him. Next up, we have we have the other tapes. We got Rumble. Just take off his little weapons there. And that's how you transform him. Then we have the two others. Of course, you just take off Ravage's tiny weapons there. Put them in the weapon pile. The weapon pile. <laughs> just really just put that there. And then, bam. So, that's... Rumble, I mean Ravage, and then we have the twin little buddy. Is he Frenzy or is he Rumble? In the show he was Rumble, so yeah, and he's Frenzy, so he's Frenzy and Rumble. And this guy's Rumble or Frenzy, so yeah, that guy's Rumble, that's Frenzy in the show, and this is Rumble in the show. So they inverted the colors, they really did. And of course, it really doesn't, what I mean when I say it really doesn't matter, is that they tr it's the same transformation. You just put his head down by pushing his arms down, and really it's the same thing. Just like Laser Beak is the same thing as Buzzsaw, only he has a red belly, and, well, Buzzsaw has a golden one. So there's Frenzy. And now... We have Megatron. This Megatron really doesn't really transform into the thing he does on the show. But if you were to transform him into a gun blaster, you would really just take out his thing. So yeah, we're just going to put that there and then just put him back here. So yeah, that's him. Then, finally, we have Starscream. Of course, we're just going to take off his little hat here. Take off his blasters. Take off his other blaster. Weapon pile. Then, if you don't have this Studio Series version, take that out like that. 
giant jet plane. Woo! And you just play around with them. Next time we'll be coming back with... Next time on this Transformers thing, we'll come back with either a video on a Skywarp, Thundercracker, or Laserbeak. Or we'll come back with a video on 1984's Minibots for the Autobots.